One of the most unusual coffees that we have is called the Deutschang Wild Civet Coffee. It's something that arose in the most strange circumstances. Uh, I'd heard about civet coffee before, or kopi luwak, which is the most common name, which means cat coffee in Indonesia. Uh, but that was all I just heard about it. And then about a year ago, Kun Vicha and, and Porn Prepar turned up with a jar. And it was a jar of beans that looked a bit like an old Henry bar, I suppose. That's the only way to describe it. And I said, well, what's that? He said, well, this is uh, civet coffee. The digestive juices of the animal do provide a little bit of an exotic uh, finish to the taste of the coffee that uh, can't really be created any other way. Uh, so in Southeast Asia, where those animals do exist, it provides some of the, uh, some of the cleanest and some of the uh, uh, most exotic tasting coffee that's available of, of that type in that, in that region. So here is a very special coffee from Doi Chang. Special insofar as this coffee is an animal processed coffee, and that is the civet animal feeds on the best cherries in Doi Chang, best coffee cherries. It swallows the cherries, and the body then digests the cherry, and the beans either pass through or they're regurgitated. If they pass through, they end up looking like this. This is as they are gathered by the farmers under the trees. As an alternative to passing the beans, the civets will sometimes regurgitate or spit the beans out. Now, when it's passed, these beans will be found in the jungle. When it, they're regurgitated, they will be found underneath the coffee plants. So the challenge for the farmers is not just to find the spat beans, but to go out into the jungle. What's special about the Doi Chang civets is that they're wild. Unlike some of the other civets in different countries, which are caged, the farmers will only gather civet from the wild. These beans have been rated as some of the highest beans by Coffee Review. And as a civet coffee, it's received the highest rating that's ever been given by the uh, Coffee Review. So when drinking this coffee, what it will be found is it has all the characteristics of a Deutschen coffee bean, but it has an additional sweeter flavor, almost like a, like a lingering honey flavor to the beans. As a result of the scarcity of these beans, only some 100 kilo are gathered every year, and of the quality of the bean, this coffee sells for some $500 a pound. It is sold in some of the most exclusive retail shops and coffee shops in the world. Very often it will be sold for up to $40 or $80 per cup.